Welcome everyone. Glad that you could join us once again. And we are talking about Deborah and uh, the famous battle in Judges 4 and 5. And today I just want to focus on the fact that Deborah, for one, embraced her calling. We read in Judges 5 and verse 7, Village life ceased. It ceased in Israel until I, Deborah, arose. Arose a mother in Israel. We understand the background of the times. At that time, uh, Israel did not have any kings. God was leading his people through um, leaders known as judges. And uh, at this particular time, quite unassuming because there was a woman or a lady whom God had chosen to lead his people. Deborah was a prophetess, so she understood the grace that she had. And you recognize that she was one who had a lot of credibility with the people. She heard from God. She was even able to go and tell the commander at that time to go into battle. And that was good enough for the commander to um, go into action. And not just that, he requested for her support and said, if you don't go with me, then I will not go. So you notice that uh, if we can use the word competent, she was one such leader or judge in Israel. So she was not, not just a leader, but as she describes herself, she says, mother in Israel, someone who was able to um, stand firm and uh, be that pillar of strength for others. Uh, now think about this, you know, these were difficult times, we read that um, King Jabin was oppressing the people and people would have really wanted to give up and people would have really um, been discouraged under such pressure and it could have been a, a good opportunity for everyone to complain uh, and, and to just you know sort of wallow in their own self-pity but uh, it took it took some people to stand up or in other words arise some people to take position some people to understand what their calling was some people to understand you know, what um, uh, grace god has given them some people to commit and surrender to god and say okay god you no know, i will go i will do and that's exactly what we see in the life of deborah she arose and she arose a mother in israel uh, and as we look at the New Testament, we are encouraged to also step out with the gifts that God has given us. Romans 12 is a very familiar passage for us. which says that we can exercise our gifts in proportion to our faith. So I'll just read a couple of verses, Romans 12, um, at the end of verse 6, it says, If prophecy, let us prophesy in proportion to our faith. And then, you know, it goes on. Verse 7, or ministry, let us use it in our ministering. He who teaches in teaching and, you know, so on. Based on whatever it is that you and I can do for the kingdom of God. And that's all um, God is asking for us. He wants us to arise. He wants us to take position. And the other beautiful thing that we see in this passage is that they volunteered. You know, uh, Judges 5.2 says, People willingly offer themselves. So can we be those people who are willing to the call of God um, uh, on our lives? Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, the way um, in difficult times we see Deborah and her team arise, Lord, we pray that your spirit will move upon each one of our hearts to um, see what it is that, Lord, we can bless the body of Christ with. And Lord, we pray that... Uh, uh, many of us, Lord, will arise and it will truly be a blessing to the body. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.